Hello guys, today I'm gonna take a look at this Axagon ADSAST model dual HDD dock. It's actually USB free docking station for up to two HDDs or SSDs at the same time with also this cloning function without PC. So let's have a look inside. Here we have a docking station, and there is also of course the manual and the instruction for the use. You get USB A to USB B cable, which is approximately let's have a look at the length. Well, it's about 70 centimeters. And the power source. The power adapter has like one and a half meter. The manual with instructions. Has, I think everything you need to know. And the device itself. Looks quite nice. It's like nice looking device. Here at the back side we've got USB free port, USB B, connector for the power source on off button. So it's nothing. This huge cone button in the front with LED lights. It shows the functions and actually process in percentage. While you're cloning discs and two base for the either two and a half inch drives or 3.5 inch drives. At the bottom, we got quite a big uh, rubber feet which helps reduce vibrations. Some basic information it's, of course, compatible with uh, USB 3 and backward compatible with USB 2. It supports tr transmission rates of uh, 12,480 or up to 5,000 megabits per second. Uh, it supports drives of all capacities. It's uh, compliant with serial ATA 3.1 specification or min SATA 600. Transmission rates of up to 6 gigabits per second. And of course, backwards compatible with SATA 2 and SATA 1. Very interesting thing, it supports uh, SSD or HDD boot support in docking station it also has hot plug support which means you can actually connect the device while running uh, full plug and play support hd auto spin down so actually automatic spinning down after period of inactivity lasting 10 minutes hd turn off and the maximum power consumption is 30 watts and uh, supports for operating systems starting at windows xp up to Windows 10, probably or definitely would be Windows 11 and Windows servers are supported of course, uh, Mac OS from 10 and higher, Linux with kernel 2.6 and above, so there is no need to install any additional drivers for it. I'm gonna do the first start, so power mm -hmm. source the USB so I can turn it on off in here so you see small LED light but before inserting drive in it should be turned off now I can put the drive in I prepared a few of them even the three and a half inches so I'll start with the small two and a half inches okay so it should go this way straight it all I'll press the on off button see the LED lights 
Doris B A, and here we are. Easy and fast. I'm gonna insert the SSD into the second dock. And we've got both tries here. And you can actually or before taking the drive out of it, you have to at least turn on by pressing the on off button at the back or recommended by the vendor, the ordinary way through the windows. Just end it here. And now we can turn it off here. So that's the recommended way. Same with 3.5 inch drive. It fits, fits there just perfectly. Here we are. I'm gonna try the speed test. I got exactly five gigabytes large file here created just for this purpose and I'm gonna send it to the drive and it goes up to 100 117 megabits per second 119 so full operational capabilities of this drive which is 7200 rpm drive so it it doesn't slow down the drives. Right, lovely. It's there under half minute. I guess so just about that. I'm gonna try the 2.5 inches. gonna send it this mode drive and the same 120 125 megabits per second so so it's good no problems there and after this one I will try with the SSD But of course you have to, actually this is one large file. Uh, when you move into the drives, the more smaller files like uh, photos, pictures and uh, documents, it always takes uh, quite a longer. Now I'm gonna try to copy two files to two drives at the same time, or I mean like uh, one file to one drive, but Two of them, so I'll start with the ordinary hard drive, send it there, and the second to the SSD. And now I can see really big drop in the speeds. There is just like 41 megabits of copying to each drive, so probably it's gonna be caused by the operational capabilities of this device because actually it's, it's not slowed down by the uh, SSD in my laptop so I've got the M2 with over 1000 megabits per second read speed so see it's still still holding just a little bit over 40 megabits per second but as soon as I'll stop one of one of them the speeds are going back to the normal so even if you can use actually two drives at the same time in it actually copying or reading files from it you should probably 
she's doing is like one at a time and just in case i'm gonna try it with two ssds now let's have a look how it will behave now so send one send the other one oh as you can see with two ssds the speeds are still the same for both drives so there's there's just a little really small decrease in a speeds but we are still over 200 megabits per second so that that's really good so probably ordinary hard drives are slowing down and now i'm gonna try to copy one file from the normal drive to the ssd while it's still connected in the dock so let's have a look at it so we've got 110 megabits per second approximately which means it it works in a full speed or full capabilities of the ordinary hard drive so there's no problem in there now i'm gonna try clone function so we need a source drive goes to the bay a and the target drive into the bay b uh most important thing the target drive must be in size at least equal or larger than the source one uh, because if it's smaller the cloning won't even start the other side if it's larger the remaining space on the target disk won't be assigned so you'll need to assign it later in the disk manager in windows and another thing the cloned tribe the target one is identical copy of the first drive so it also takes the id of the source disk that means if you connect uh, target and source drives together at the same time to computer uh, windows will switch one of them off so again it will it's supposed to be switched on back in the disk manager in windows let's try cloning that's the whole need to turn it on wait at least 10 seconds for initialization of the drives now clone button supposed to be pressed for three seconds and now it should start as you can see cloning started uh actually uh, i add 50 gigabytes to the source drive so we'll see how long will it take so three minutes to 25 percent another three minutes to 50 percent another three minutes to 75 percent and that's it 12 minutes we got 100 percent done uh, very important thing do not disconnect it from power source or turn it off while the cloning is in a process so i'm gonna quickly do the check so take this source drive away and let's have a look at the target drive here we are it's exactly the same so perfect and as i mentioned earlier if you use as a target disk with larger capacity than the source will appear like this i'll show you so go to the control panel administrative tools computer management and here is the disk management and i will see uh it's actually 232 gigabytes which is the same size as the source and the rest of the drive stays unallocated which is really easy click with right mouse button new simple drive and then just next to the numbers 
next, 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 finish, and that's it. It will actually format the drive, the, I mean, the other half of drive, and that's it. And I will quickly do the uh, cloning of the ordinary hard disk drive to SSD, but we are doing it on a video, I will just tell you the results. Right, I've done some uh, testing, different drives, stuff like that. Uh, what I've discovered, actually, it doesn't matter how much data are on the source drive. It really, it really doesn't matter. Uh, even if I done the same with the same drives, but with just few gigabytes on it, it still took the same time as with the more data on it, which means. Uh, the bigger drive, the longer it's gonna take, but it will take the same time, even if there are like 10 gigabytes of the source drive, or if you have 200 gigabytes on the source drive, it will still take the same time. So approximately from 500 gigabyte drive to another the same size, it took uh, more than two and a half times that. So even if I finish the previous 250 gigabyte drive cloning in 12 minutes the 500 gigabyte drive took over half an hour and i've tried the same with the uh, ordinary hard disk drive and cloning to the ssd and it took uh, 40 minutes so as real times so my verdict about this device it's really good thing to have at hand, especially if you work in uh, IT, for example, and you need to like work with uh, many drives or if you are doing many backups, stuff like that. It's really good. It's uh, convenient. It's uh, much better than those uh, ordinary enclosures, which are usually good for like one drive. So you put the drive, you have it like external still not drive but uh this is really good uh quick swaps or drives easy cloning is perfect the support for 3.5 inches drives that's that's also really good it supports uh high speed it can work with the uh, drives uh smart technology only one thing i don't like about not just this one device but all of them all of them are the same and is you still have these holes for the drives there and uh, I mean you have if you, if you use these really often frequently and you have it all the time somewhere on the desk it will actually all the dust getting in still so I, I really don't know why they can use should this uh, cover or lead for this part why wouldn't they do it for like whole place i really don't know so they're just but as, as i said it's all of them are the same so i haven't seen on the market not even one device that will have whole bay covered and what i would take that's just my opinion uh, i would really like if the vendors of these devices start uh, adding m2 ports on it that would be really great so anyway uh it's really good device it's not too expensive i bought this one for just uh, under 40 euros uh, which is not too expensive there are even uh much more expensive uh devices on the market which i had that pleasure to try it they, all of them they didn't offer anything more or better than this one so this is just just perfect i would say and that's it uh guys thank you for watching and see you next time